Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Time to chief build an action. Got to drama. Okay. Cut it down to ten seconds. Ah, uh, this is what I got going, man. I still got I got my dang uh, jigsaw puzzle going on. <laughs> I had everything cut, but they still had to be sanded and whittled and shaped to fit. And I uh, stuck my aileron and my flap in here, you know, to make sure this all is right. And then it hit me, got a dang brainstorm. You know, the thing to do why couldn't a guy go ahead and lay up these parts? both aileron and flat stick this in there where that foam is cut out what I don't want go ahead and hinge this my new flap not my plug my new flap I'm going to cut go ahead and hinge it to this board Cause man, I want to tell you guys something. This is going to be a bear to hinge. The way this angle is, you we won't be able to go in there straight. You know, it's going to want to start over here, and that you're going to have to angle that hinge. And I want to use carbon hinges. I don't rowbar. See, we're going to have a uh, seminar. We're going to have a whole building session on how to correctly hinge flaps and ailerons okay we're going to go over this in fine detail i've seen it on more than one airplane where people don't hinge these these things right you do not put your hinge line up here to where that's going to flop you do not do that that is a mistake we got to go in here with that pin you know the pin, I'm meaning that's the uh, hinge point needs to be in here, not out here. Now I've seen several airplanes done like that, and uh, that is not the way to do it. We're gonna go over that real slow <laughs> in slow motion. <laughs> No, I just want you know, I've seen airplanes like that, and that is not the reason for doing this. Instead of just putting these at a point and hinging them, is to have a gapless hinge. Okay, when you bring that out here, you cannot have a gapless hinge. You got to shave your ends back to get enough throw, and that is just not the correct way to, to do it. So we're going to go over that when I get to it. But well, here's what I'm thinking about doing. Okay, I got all my wood cut, and I, but I forgot I forgot to lay up my uh, piece of fiberglass around that edge, so I can't really join them tonight anyway. So what I'm thinking about doing. I'm going to go ahead and lay me up an aileron and a flap tonight, and uh, I'm going to try and hit them. Why can't a guy just cut? Go ahead and cut. I'll make me a template. And I'll cut my old flap out. The one that's connected to the wing right now. The one that's got this pink foam. This one. If I make me a template and I cut these things out. hinge everything, put my wood in there and my flap and aileron, glue this thing together, pull it out, bam, my flap and aileron is hinged. Not just hinged, hinged perfectly. And with carbon fiber instead of row barts. So I wouldn't be able to get carbon fiber in there bending them. No way. So I got some carbon fiber sheets.
I got some carbon fiber sheets. I can cut me a half inch strip, you know, that ain't got holes in it. And that'll just make awesome. You know, it sounds like a piece of steel. Make awesome uh, to hinge it to. I can even put me some air, you know, some cuts in it like that to hold the glue. Drill a hole at the end, round it. Put a pin through it. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. That is what I'm going to do, people. And when we pull this wing apart, this mold, my flaps will be installed and hinged. Matter of fact, I could probably even put the servos in them, dudes. We're getting a little deep there, but uh, we're going to see how this goes. I got, first of all, what I'm going to do before I do anything is I'm going to take. This is the thickness of my wing skin, okay? I'm going to lay a razor blade on there and see how easy I can score and cut that. You know, I don't want to use a vibrating saw because I don't want to get into the, my molds with a saw. But a razor blade would be fine because that's where, if I make me a template, that's where I'll make my cut every time. You know? I don't know, I think this needs some thought. Butch, what do you think? You think that'd be worth it? Because I gotta go in here and lay these things in there, man. Bam. I gotta cut all this to fit anyway. You know, I gotta cut all this to fit. If I don't, they ain't gonna fit in that wing right. After when I get them glued together. And the angle that these things are gonna have to slide in there. That's about that one is this one. See, I could use a robot one on that one to get away with it. But, uh, these bad boys are too thick. There's that much open area, you know, in that hinge, and that'll just flex too much. And if I go, and if I put them carbon ones in there, you know, to get them to line up and in that hole at that, that angle, because this won't go in there, you know, it has to sit close and drop in. I think I might just save myself a whole bunch of grief. You see, you guys know I don't like that other wing anyway, so this will mean I really have to lay another one up. But, you know, they'll be the way we want them. You know, tell you what, I'm going to stew on this tonight. I'm going to go ahead and lay me up a flat and an aileron. Um, they, it ain't going to hurt this phone. I can set that aside for a day or two while I get this uh, made. What do y'all think? Let's hear some input on that. Because I could, man, I could save myself a whole bunch of work. And grief. I think I will. Hope you guys don't mind sitting there while I think. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. So I got all this wood cut. I'm just going to kind of set this stuff aside. I'm not going to lay me up a flat nail around tonight. I'm going to have to make it. But the only thing is, to do that, I'm going to have to put cuts in my mold for them horns to stick out. I can go ahead and glue a piece of wood on here. Did not glue all the way through the wood. And I think it'll be alright. Give me a call after you watch this, Butch. And, uh. Butch, you guys get back in the shop. I think me and Butch are gonna have a phone call. Then I'll be back with some more Bob TV.